commercial? Anyway, we're here with Valerie Bertinelli. Van Halen. Oh, oh, whoa. Valerie. Okay, let's One talk. day at a time. One day at a time. One day at a time. Da, 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 da. Well, anyway, right, did you see the film? Did you yeah, see the film? What did you think? He's the sweetest thing in the world. I did, I, it was amazing. You got, did you guys see it yet? Yes, we did. Well, is she not, is she hot or what? Well, hey, wait, wait a minute. We're asking the questions, Val, okay? Know your place. She's hot. Know your place. She's all right, she's now. the best, best friend anybody could ever have. Okay, all right. Now, we have Val here. We call her Val. We're a little tight. Val, so Val has just had a son. Val, well, tell us about the, the little little child. Little Wolfie? Little Wolfie. Little Wolfie. Wolfie. What's gang to you? Yeah, Wolfie's fine. As a matter of fact, it's been a while, and my breasts are about to burst. Are they really? Oh, anyway. So, but Valerie's okay, here now. dancing off a little of the afterbirth. All right. <laughs> <laughs> breasts are hurting. Film was great. They are. Madonna, great. How, how's, how's the hubby? How's Eddie? He's just fine. They just finished their record. Really? Yeah. When's the last time you saw Bonnie Franklin? Um, actually, I think I saw her a couple months ago. Ah, she's doing great. She's doing so cute. Too. Really? Yeah. And, and how's uh, Pat Harrington? He's just as funny as ever. Neither to you, to you out Neither there. Neither to you. Well, well, it's time to wrap it up. And um, I'm pretty sure that was where your father was real glad that you did the right thing. You're uh, married. You're married, married, then you had, had a like, kid. So huh? you don't have to worry about Papa, don't freeze. That's right. Don't do like Madonna did and Papa don't freeze. <laughs> Welcome back to Shelter, a club in downtown New York City. We're having a post-premiere party for Madonna's Truth or Dare concert tour documentary. Among the many stars here is Sheila E., who's just seen the film also. Sheila, what did you make of this movie? Uh, Madonna, I gotta give it to her. She's the queen. Next to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay, okay. Is this, what, is this movie anything like you expected it to be? No, I didn't. Um, it shows a lot of her uh, personal life, and um, I mean, I don't know her that well, but I mean, it showed a lot of that, and um, I mean, I think that that's cool, you know. Yeah. I think it was great. We're going we're gonna to take a look at a little part of the movie right now. It's sort of a touching family moment. It's when her father is brought up on stage in a concert in Detroit. Take a look. All right, there's a little excerpt from Truth or Dare, the Madonna concert tour documentary, which just premiered here in New York City tonight. Sheila, would you ever make a movie like this that was quite this revealing? I don't think so. <laughs> no, my private life is my own. I don't think I would go that far. But she makes it work somehow. She does, and it works for her, but I, don't, I, don't, I couldn't see myself doing something like that, no. No, well, we'll wait, maybe in a couple of years. <laughs> I hope not. All right, we've got a lot more coming up. We have uh, dinner with Madonna coming up in a little while, so do stay tuned here on MTV for more Madonna mania. Yet more Madonna. We're still here at Shelter in New York City where there's a post-premiere party for Truth or Dare going on. I have with me an old friend of Madonna's. I guess that's the way to say it, right? Yeah. Jelly Bean, a man whose new, new single just came out today. What did you make of the movie? I loved it. I thought it was very entertaining. The Madonna you know and, and love? Yes, definitely. I think that it'll give the viewer a chance to really get to know her a little bit better. Have you, have you seen her? Has she changed a lot since you first met her? Because you knew her really early on. Has she grown as like an artist? Well, she's definitely grown as an artist, but she's basically the same person, so good heart. A humble, kind of down-to-earth girl. Yeah, down-to-earth. <laughs> I think we're all reassured by that. Let's take a look at what was going on in Los Angeles the other night when Kid and Play were hosting a little party with uh, Madonna turned up, made an appearance, and had a special message for them also. Mmm, mmm. Take a look. <laughs> Hey yo, this is Kim Blake, Coach the Arena. Check it out, you gotta say thanks to Kurt. Thanks, Kurt. Oh, we're gonna do Kurt, 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 Oh yeah. All right, is that got a fun? All right, we're here with the lovely ladies of the Truth Dare, and our who came from the premiere, Madonna, Donna, and Nikki. Nikki Anna. It's Donna. Yes, it is a pajama party. Yes, it is a pajama party. You don't wear pajamas. Well, we thought we'd come appropriately dressed. A player has his pajamas on. Very nice. Are you all back to bed? No wonder you're lonely. Oh, yeah. Okay, check this out. Now, Play and I, we've seen the movie. We didn't see it uh, just this time here. We saw it a little earlier. We did. I saw it in the trailer. Uh, oh, this is my new movie, How Party 2. Now, no, 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 no. Now, tell us what it was like. Was the tour as that grueling as it seemed? It seemed quite grueling. Uh-huh. Nikki, did you think so? Oh, oh. Now, it's not as grueling as it's been or not. Oh, yes. 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 Play, play enjoyed the movie. Oh, yeah. We need a thank you. All right, we're getting undressed here. We need a big clothes. Oh, man. Wait, wait, wait. 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 Wait, wait,
Check this out. I have a guess. Okay. You have a guess? I have a guess. Who's your guess? My guess is the lovely Catherine O'Hara, SBTV fame. Huh? Huh? Give it up. Well, uh, so what you got the top grossing film of the year? My man here is responsible for being involved in such projects such as Beetlejuice. Oh, Could you kick your name, please? Uh, Glenn Shattuck. There it is. My man. All you know right. what I'm saying? Well, <laughs> Catherine. <laughs> no, Catherine. I didn't, but... Wait, may I, excuse me. I'd like to ask Catherine what you thought of the movie. I thought it was amazing. She is way too powerful. Really? Oh, yeah. Isn't she? But you know what, Catherine? I'm so familiar with your impersonation from SCTV. You, you, I'm sure you could do a devastating Madonna, could you not? <laughs> Let's just run this interview at the Catherine. same time. So what did you think of the film? Right? I thought it was incredible. They, they have something else going on. So what did you think? What did you think of such scenes as uh, the Kevin Costner scene, uh, the scene with? Well, they took. Oh, okay, okay. It's not I'll tell you what we're going to do. Let's take this away. Wait, wait, wait. I can't have equal time. All right, wait, wait. Wait a minute. While play has a tantrum, we're going to go to a clip from the movie. This is a clip featuring that big lip gal we all love, Sandra Bernhardt. We're back with the gang. Fabulous clip. Do you not agree? Oh, I agree. It was so incredible. Well, at, we're here at the party. The arena is fabulous. Celebs are flowing left, right, and center. Uh, play, could you please come back? Play, please. Okay. As we coax, coax playback, let's go to the video that cost Madonna her Pepsi deal. Like a prayer. How about it? Yeah. Like a prayer. I'm with it. Mucho Madonna. Madonna to the max. Madonna video. The Madonna rockumentary. A half hour Madonna interview. Madonna Rama. A massive monument to Madonna, matey. All this weekend on MTV. Get it? MTV. Don't put out the lights till you put... I'm Kurt Loder. Madonna's movie has just premiered here in New York City. Madonna is here. Alex Kosishian is here. You must be the two happiest guys in town, right? How did the premiere go? The happiest guys, guys in town. <laughs> all right. So there's no all-encompassing verb to go with that. I'm sorry. Anyway, how did it go? Did people applaud? Yeah, it was a great audience. People were wild. They were great. Do you think this is going to be a hit across America? Are you? What do you think is going to happen in Idaho? Boise, Idaho. Well, I don't know. I, I would like it. I think it would be a... I would be money in my bank account. Let's talk back here. Will you two be sticking together for the rest of the night or splitting up in that modern way? We're joined. I stuck some crazy glue on his jacket earlier so he'd never leave me for the rest of the evening. Yeah. So this place has been decorated with like $100,000 worth of antiques or something, right? Do you know what's been going on here? Let's take but them home. I'm sure not on your account, but... I hope not. <laughs> well, go enjoy the party. Okay. This has been great. We're going to watch a clip. Okay. Thank you, Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. There they go, they're so happy. Oh, yeah. Rico. Rico. Oh, oh, we're back here at the Madonna premiere party, and we're here with the one and only Gerardo. Wow. How oh, you doing? I'm so good. You know, you know, guys, I missed the film. I just got here right now. Oh, right. Right. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Anyway. <laughs> no, 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 of course. But uh, Gerardo, we can't expect you to have seen the film because you're very busy right now. You got your new video out. He doesn't out. have to see the film. He lives the film, man. That's, That's right. Boy. Well, oh, man, yeah, a lot of people don't know. A lot of people don't know Gerardo was in the film Colors. He was one of the, with the homies and the, all of that. You know, I, I, had an I had an argument with a young lady. Were you or were you not in that picture, Buy Me Love? Yeah. And Buy Me Love, that was yeah. you? Yeah. She won the bet. I'm yeah. sorry, JJ, $50, See, you got it. Gerardo is, is an accomplished actor. The movie, the movies are jumping off. The, the singing is jumping off. We're I saw Gerardo. Like you. I saw Gerardo at the Apollo Theater in New York. He was just going yeah. bananas. I saw him on the Byron Battle. Uh, what is it? Byron All right, all right. Get it together, brother, all right? I saw him on that Byron. All right, well, play gets it together. <laughs> while play gets together, we're going to go to another clip from Truth or Dare. Here we go. Well, anyway, I'm going to take this time to ask him a question that annoys me. And I, gotta, I just want to pass it down. Has success changed you any? Not at all. Not whatsoever. None. None. Come on, man. I read an article, oh, People Magazine, Your Wives, Ladies, Dos Tres Cuatro Mujeres, Dancers, I Don't Love You, but I Need You. I need you. Know, what's up? Yo, I mean, what, what, what's, it, what's it like working with your producer, Michael Cimbello, Flashdance? Yeah. He's very funky. He's a very funky guy, man. Michael Cimbello's down. How about George Clinton? How was he doing? Take it, take it. Funky. Now, he's a man. He's he funky. literally is funky. We, have, oh, we don't want to talk about that. Well, but George Clinton was in the movie House Party. Right now, we're going to go to a commercial, and we want to thank my man Gerardo for coming down here. My man, we want to get on. We want to 
Welcome back to Shoulder, a club in downtown New York City where there's a post-premiere party for Madonna's Truth or Dare concert tour documentary going on right now. Everybody's seen the film. Everybody's having a party. Partying hardest of all, perhaps, right next to me is Tammy Nelson, a contest winner who's been flown all the way from San Diego to New York City for the privilege, or the experience at least, of seeing this movie. What did you think of it? It was great. Um, a lot of it I didn't expect. It was really emotional in part. All the concert footage was amazing. It was better than actually being there. Um, it was great. I'm going to go see it again when I'm a little less nervous. <laughs> you come from the real world. What do you make of this club scene here? It's out of control. <laughs> it's very out of control. There's a million people here. I think it'll be closed down really soon, so we don't have to worry about it spreading too far. Now, would you like to see a Madonna video of some sort? Yes, we'll be seeing the world premiere later, but right now I'd like to dedicate this to my Sigma Kappa sisters at UC Santa Barbara. It's like a virgin. Shoulder in New York City, where they're having a post-premiere party for the Madonna film Truth or Dare. I'm here with the model Naomi Campbell. You've just seen this movie. What did you think? Were you shocked? Not at all. See, the press has been telling people they're going to be scared and shocked you think that's like hype i don't believe the press they hype everything up and they pull it down before you even get to see it and they make you just think that it's going to be terrible it was a great film honest truthful and just all laid out on the table in real life in reality did, did it change the way you thought about madonna i mean do you know her or? um i don't know her i know how to say hi to but it has changed the way i think about her yeah i am I think it's very hard work and it's not as, I know that it's not glamorous to just get up on there and do it all and I mean she's got the toughest job of all for 365 days a year. <laughs> she's great, fantastic. Would you be taking your folks to see this maybe? Or? Well my folks live far away but um, I'm sure my mother would see it. <laughs> I'm sure there's a theater near where they live. But... Yeah. Okay, another, another pro decision fan. here. Mother Madonna fan, it's yeah. true. Thank you very much. We're going to take a quick break right here, here but we're going to be back real soon with a dinner with Madonna and a half-hour MTV News special. So